I get many questions with regards to relationships, how to live in relationship or how to split up if you feel the relationship is not what you want anymore or if you're not sure whether the relationship is actually what you want or not. And this is a question that arises more and more during recent times. It's like, I'm not sure if I want to continue with this relationship. Could you talk about that? <laughs> Now, obviously, I can't talk for everyone specifically, but I can definitely offer some guidance as to how to deal with the confusion of not knowing whether you would like to continue with the relationship or not. Now, the first thing I think is very helpful to know, and this will take you out of the 3D paradigm straight away. You can have a We're talking about partnership right now, right? You can have a relationship with your partner, whether or not you stay in that type of relationship or not. Okay, so how we categorize relationships is really sometimes the most or the first flawed idea. Because it's like, if I split up, you know, this is it. It's nearly like we're dying and it's the end and it doesn't have to be this way. Now, it can mean that for some time you may have to reduce the contact so that everybody can kind of find their new role if you want to transition from a partnership to a friendship, right? But it's not undoable. It can be done. But Like you don't have to lose a person or give up a person just because you do not want to stay in a specific type of relationship anymore. If for you, the question is whether or not this person is good for you, then you may have to ask yourself, yes, is this person good for me generally in life? And you may have to say, no, it's, uh, it's not very helpful to be in any type of relationship with this person right now. I find it easier to love them and to feel positively towards them if we're not in contact. And that's okay. And then you might decide to end it completely and everybody moves their separate ways and that might be the best thing to do. Only you can know, right? I understand that we take into consideration how the other person feels. Like often it's like, I really don't feel happy in this relationship anymore, but I know it would devastate my husband or my boyfriend or my girlfriend. And I don't want that. And I don't want to cause suffering. Now, you, that's on one hand, seems very honorable that you take into consideration how the other person feels, but it doesn't honor the relationship and it doesn't really honor the other person because you're not truthful. Right? And if you're not truthful, that's not a good service to another soul, to another human. If you have to be fake or pretend um, to be happy or to be okay with how it is, or if the relationship is kind of, you know, you moan and you do express your dissatisfaction, but you still stay in it, but everybody is miserable because you're miserable and you might even honestly say it, but you're not willing to change anything because you secretly hope or you openly hope the other person would change so that you could be happy again. So our level of consciousness is really important, right? How do we view this? If we approach it from a 3D, like how most people might approach a relationship level, then we're possibly not going to find a very clever or very um, insightful solution. So what helps us is if we look at it from a different level, as in you're always connected. Even if you have no more contact to your ex, you're always connected because everything is connected anyway. And the connection and the type of connection can have the importance or non-importance that you want. That's up to you because we create our rea reality and our internal world. A relationship is something that happens internally. Yes, you have external interaction, but the way you feel about this person is internal. And how often you think about this person and in what way is internal. So every relationship is really something that happens within. And now we have the chance with every relationship that we have, in our lives, but let's say in partnership, to let our internal way be reflected in the 
relationship that we have in the partnership. And if there is, if that's not congruent, if how we feel and how we live the relationship does not fit together, then yes, it would be wise to look at it and to change it again so that it does feel in harmony again, so that you feel congruent and that you feel in alignment and that you feel authentic again. This could mean changing something in the relationship, diving into it more or moving away or changing the type of relationship you have. And it does not have to mean giving up that, that contact or connection forever, right? It might actually mean that you love this person more the less you interact. That could well be a possibility. Like that's human and that's okay. So you could be of a much bigger service or greater service to that person energetically because everything is energy if you're not in a partnership together. So try to find this kind of awareness um, without the expectations. Well, you know, we got married and now we have to stay together or the expectations of our our friends or relatives or parents would be that we stay together or or his expectation or her expectation it's like what do you want what do you want and how is this best lived how is this lived in the most honest transparent and authentic way so that's one thing and well there's actually a couple of things <laughs> but that might be very helpful if you're in this situation right now. Now what I can hear already is some people saying what if there are children? What if we are married and what if there are children? It's not that easy and yes you're right it's not that easy. There are different options and I'm going to give them on different levels. Again, if you stay in the awareness and consciousness of we're all love, we're all light, we're all energy, we're all souls having experiences here together, and you look at your dynamics and your relationships from that point of view, it becomes much more freer. So then you look at, okay, but in this partnership, I'm not happy anymore. But we have children or a child. So you look at, right, how authentic or real does it feel for me to be in this setting and what effect does it have on the other people how is it for my partner and how do the kids experience that because we all know and I mean these are great times to make changes because many people are quite independent financially it's not like years ago where the women did not necessarily have their independence and had to stay for economic reasons in relationships so Yes, it might be difficult, but what you might have to look at is this, what we're living now within the family, is this healthy and supportive for our child's or children's development? What's the atmosphere like at home? Because even if you don't speak nasty words to your partner in front of your children or not at all, but if the feelings are not positive towards each other, if there's hostility, if there's coldness, yes, um, that gets picked up by everybody in the household, especially by children. No matter how much you try to pretend everything is okay, kids know and they will tell you as adults, we have always known that you two weren't just not a match. We secretly hoped you would kind of solve it in one way or another. We suffered. So letting go of paradigms where it's like you need to stay together if you have young children until they're out of the house because otherwise they will be damaged no 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 what damages us as humans is inauthenticity like fake stuff and if your parents are not real authentic honest what do you learn like children they need the to have the confidence in you that you're honest and if they sense that there is fakeness every day it is something you teach them about the world and it does not make them feel safer or more um, they don't necessarily experience the world then in a reliable way right so look at it from that point of view what's the energy that we create every day and is there a better way to live in a more positive energy 
And this could have an effect on, okay, we may have to live in separate houses or separate apartments. We may have to just live in separate rooms, but we can still be in the same household. But us as a couple, we no longer have the expectations on each other that you're my partner, I'm your partner. We can still share the same household and family life, but we uh, change from the commitment, the partnership commitment that we originally had intended to what feels more in alignment to where we are now. So we could be on a friend's level and on a parent level for our kids. And this might work for some. It might have to be that you actually have to split, split and move out. It could also mean that you go into couples therapy and work things out and then there can be lots of shifts happening there too, where you actually change something fundamentally within like problems that have never been addressed or issues, topics, where once they are dealt with, the relationship is beautiful and has transformed. That is possible too. But it is okay for you, and this is what I want to give you the encouragement for, it's okay for you to acknowledge your own feelings, your own thoughts, no matter what the other person says they think and they feel. It's okay to take that into consideration, but also take yourself into consideration. And this notion of self-sacrifice for someone else, always look at what kind of energy does it create? And how does it help if you're not happy? How does it help you manifest anything else good for you in your life that you would like, that, you, that, that makes you happy, that makes you joyful, fulfilled, content? Okay, because that's in the end what we all want. So staying truthful as the first commitment, not the commitment to the partnership, but the commitment to yourself, to your own soul, to your own heart, to your own path. And follow that. You may have to do a lot of work on yourself first, or you, it may be, might be really clear for you what you need to do. Or you, you follow that path and you work on yourself and you find out what is there in me. But commit to that so that in the end, the answers will be crystal clear to you. They will be crystal clear once you look at what is there and commit to yourself and commit to your your way of being you here, as in the best way of being yourself here in relation to your life, in relation to divinity, and to everyone and everything else. Okay? I hope that this was helpful. And you can leave comments if you want to. If you have any more questions that you would like me to talk about, any topics that are and burning for you or that you would like um, a different perspective on, let me know and I will definitely include that. So I'm going to love you and leave you for today and we'll talk again next time if you want to.